So that is a summary of season one. And now we're going to watch a clip. This clip was introduced to us in the beginning of season two. So this is a summary of every, all of the information that we just went over of season one. I'm gonna let you watch the visual and then we'll go ahead and break it down. Let's get into it. Booty money and y'all accounts, so y'all could apply for that loan. The new home of the Chucka Lisa Challenger. I put that money down for my new church building. This gonna be my gym. No, this gonna be my church. Andre, where are you? I'm at your place. I'm at the bar, uh, watching a game. Well, I'll just come down. No, 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 stay there. I'll be right up. Dear. I shot you. Not well enough. Where my money, Haley? Why are you out here protesting the casino, Clifford? They help save my club. Your club being saved wasn't a part of the plan. This casino might go away without your waterfront property. I say we make the man an offer he can't refuse. Well, there's no point in making an offer if he's about to go on the auction block. 250000 Why are 260 I've got 250 going once. Sold for $250,000 for a lady and wife. They see a Carnelian, one of them hidden crystals. They want Paul to give you courage. I don't need not a nan, another fake and flodge and ass gangster on my roster. I'm looking for that authenticity. Well, I'm a hurt village hustler for life. I can connect you with the dopest producers. DJ never scared my producer. Now you know good and goddamn well that me and you ain't meant for the outside. Mr. Giles said he wants to be a little merch manager. Said he could manage me too. Just yoking up Keyshawn like that just then. I mean, that ain't none of your business. Putting your paws on these girls is my business. I don't know why Keyshawn did. Get off him! Get off him! Woo, chow. Okay, so we're going to have to break this down, y'all. And we're going to go back again now that you've seen the clip. We're going to go back and break this down because this is a true summary of season one this is everything you need to know to be caught up with season two and there's a couple things that weren't mentioned in the intro that we need to touch on so let's get into it all right so right here a recurring theme throughout season one um is that the pink the strip club establishment owned by uncle clifford is um, they're having some financial issues. Uncle Clifford took out a $55,000 loan on the establishment. So he did own the property, but because he owes on this refinance loan that he has, they're past due on their payments. And they really need to get it together because he's about to lose the property. So this is really stressing out Uncle Clifford. It's stressing out the dancers. Um, there's just a lot of loom about this situation that they're trying to get out of because they're in rural Mississippi and there aren't a lot of job opportunities. There's a company that's wanting to open up a casino. So next we see, oh, law, Patricia Woodbane. Again, this is Mercedes mom who don't got no type of sense at all, at all. Um, so this is just further uh, illustration of their relationship. The fact that she's manipulating and taking money from Mercedes. Um, this is showing the mentor work that Mercedes is doing with the young girls. And also we find out in season one that one of the girls is Mercedes daughter that she no longer has custody of due to her lifestyle. This is a scene of Mercedes letting the girls know that she plans to purchase this property to fund their majorette team. As you can see, here's Miss Holier Than That talking to Mercedes, telling her um, as Mercedes is telling her about her plans uh, to retire from the strip game and to purchase this property. And she's telling the wrong person. I'm telling y'all um, as she's talking to her mom, her mom's informing her that not only did she steal her money, that she purchased the property that she wanted and is going to open up her own church. And I, here come the pause. I'm y'all when this fight took place I had to stand up and clap now I would never put my hands on my mom but I wasn't mad at the fight I'm, I wasn't mad okay so here's where things get tricky now this man right here is Andre we meet him in the beginning of the movie now going back to what I was talking about the pink the property that Uncle Clifford owns um, we meet Andre and he's a basically a property manager he is um, representing a firm that is wanting to 
purchase the property that a, a large portion of the property is owned by three brothers and he's working with them to purchase this property for a new casino now we know it's rural mississippi they don't have a lot of jobs there they're wanting to the mayor is wanting to open up this casino to bring jobs to the area to better improve the area and you know strip clubs don't really have a good name in the town they have old traditional ways so they're wanting to purchase this property and andre ends up taking interest in autumn night that's the new girl we were introduced to Haley. okay so he likes her now let, let me tell y'all something this man is married and he's wanting to he has interest in her he wants to sleep with her he he seems like a, a old southern dude so he is respectable he's not like disrespecting her but he's definitely disrespecting his marriage and there's a scene where his wife is calling him well, as we see right now his wife is calling him wanting to know where he's at saying she wants to see him and he's over here messing with Haley which is crazy and and, and i'm gonna tell you all this right now when uncle clifford found out that Haley had this influence on andre because uncle clifford didn't even know what was happening to the pink he didn't know that they were wanting to take advantage of the fact that he's about to foreclose on his property and take his land so now that he knows um he had some dirt on Haley. remember i mentioned the fact that she's using a whole nother woman's identity lakeisha savage so because she's using this woman's identity and uncle clifford knows he has collateral against her so he convinces her to get some dirt on andre he wants to know more about the plans to get rid of the pink and to overtake his property so basically andre gets caught up in this and his wife is wanting to see him he's over there messing with Haley because he likes her he's getting caught up and being really messy and this is something that isn't shown in here but we find out that andre is related to or working with the mayor they have a corrupt mayor who is just hell-bent on getting a park named after him okay so this dude okay so remember Haley, she's a refugee from a hurricane situation that happened in texas she had an abusive ex-boyfriend who's been stalking her he found out that she was in mississippi and it, it's crazy because he's been looking for her his name's montavious and we're trying to figure out remember i told you that Haley was basically making bank on some money money wiring schemes she's getting money that's funded from lakeisha savage this alias that she took over when she found some woman's id that was also a victim of the hurricane this man is coming after her i mean as you can see here she's wiring nine thousand dollars she has like 10 transactions a nine thousand dollars so it's like where is this money coming from eventually as you know with all money schemes, if you don't know listen to me i'm your wise auntie with money schemes eventually you're going to have to pay the piper where is this money coming from because i'm telling y'all she's getting a lot of money she didn't did over 10 15 transactions getting nine thousand dollars she did so many transactions they told her she couldn't do no more transactions okay what we're seeing right here is uncle clifford defending the pink dude and him get into an altercation um and and this is something i respect about uncle clifford because yes he's a non-binary person but he's really a real one like when it comes to defending his own uncle clifford's gonna go hard he's gonna come at you with all the heat and he really don't care i mess with uncle clifford now another character that we haven't really got to see much of and i really don't want to introduce him in this light is diamond diamonds like the bouncer for the pink he keeps all the dudes in check make sure they don't put their hands on the girls he's a uh, iraq war veteran veteran so you know diamond's a respectable character this is a picture of we have patrice woodbine mercedes mom miss holier than thou getting on my nerves we have uncle clifford and he's protesting because the t is is that this property that he owns the pink it was originally owned by his grandmother she owned that property and had her own juke joint so this is like a family legacy that he's trying to defend now a money lesson here he was irresponsible he refinanced on his equity and now it's time to pay the paper and he don't got the money so he's trying to figure out how to get this money and how to stop the casino from 
bulldozing his establishment. Okay, so remember the three brothers that I mentioned. There's two brothers and this is the third brother. They are inheritance of a wealthy plantation owner. He's the half brother, so he's biracial and he gets a lot of flack for that. He is wanting, instead of having the property sold, he's wanting to lease the property to the casino because he's thinking long-term. He wants generational wealth, which kudos to him. Honestly, what he's saying makes sense. However, unfortunately, it doesn't include Uncle Clifford or the pink. So that's the downfall to him. But he was trying to convince Andre to be on his side and lease out the property. Now, none of these plans include keeping the pink open. And because Uncle Clifford is in a vulnerable situation, he's really putting himself up for failure. That's what we're dealing with here, guys. Um, this is Andre. Remember, Andre is the real estate agent. Basically, he's the person facilitating the uh, brokerage between the uh, casino and the city to get this deal done. All right, so the season ends with an auction. Unfortunately, Uncle Clifford still didn't raise the $55,000. We're not surprised. So there was an auction to for the property of the pink. And here's where things turn. Lakeisha, I, I call her Lakeisha. Haley, again, remember she's getting this fraud money from her alias as Lakeisha Savage. She outbids and now she's the new owner of the pink. The tables have turned. The new girl owns the pink and that is completely crazy okay this is a better portrayal of him so this is diamond the bouncer he's very attractive um he is talking to one of the other dancers mississippi mississippi is like one of the second best dancers she can hold her own however she just had a baby and she's in an abusive relationship i know a lot's going on y'all you're like whoo y'all this is too much this is what this is a, a real portrayal of what these women are dealing with in rural Mississippi. So he's talking to her, you know, she comes in, she has bruises on her. She has a lot going on. She brings her baby to work. So she has her baby all the time. Uncle Clifford and Diamond help to her take care of this baby. So he's talking to her and, you know, he keeps us. I think he likes her, but eh, we don't know. We're going to act like we don't know. And he's just encouraging her to get out of that situation nobody wants to see their friend be abused so i commend him for that now okay so this guy here is low murder he's an up-and-coming artist he's a young dude he is a new artist so he's finding his way there was kind of some beef. there was a little beef with him and mercedes he's wanting to get his music played he was just kind of whack at first you know he's a new artist he hasn't found his sound yet so he's still working on that the thing about low murder is he is a love interest with Uncle Clifford. He did. He told Uncle Clifford, you know, Uncle Clifford was like, I mean, we got everything a man want up in here. We got everything we a man want in the pink. And he's like, I mean, almost everything. So he's letting him know he's bisexual and he's interested in him. Him and Uncle Clifford end up getting together and it's kind of messy, but um, they end up having their own drama that they work through. But this is Lil Murder and he's fronting because he is getting flack from other dudes, kind of losing street cred for them knowing that he's bisexual. So he's in the club right now. See how that dude looking at him? He looking at him like, nah, you gay. I don't like you. Uh-uh. He like looking at him like, nah, I know who you are. Mm-hmm. You see the judgment on his face? He judging him. He is. That's Mississippi. That's Mississippi, the girl who's getting beat by her boyfriend. So their DJ, it's funny, their DJ is like a high schooler, but he's a good guy. He knows how to keep it popping in there. So he has a bright future ahead of him. This is a love scene with Uncle Clifford and Lil Murda. So they get into it. They're just letting you know this is his dude and they're in a relationship. This is just letting us know that Lil Murda is his dude and, you know, they're doing their thing. They do have some drama in the relationship just because of how dangerous it is to be out in this town um rural mississippi uh it's just not you know everyone's it's the it's it's part of the bible belt you know it's close to the bible belt so it's it's frowned upon to be a homosexual and 
for Lil Murda trying to come out in his music career, this just really isn't the move for him. And he knows that, but he expressed to Uncle Clifford that he doesn't really want to be closeted about their relationship. And Uncle, Uncle Clifford has his own concerns. He is an out man. He lives his, his life out loud. But there's a lot of hate that he receives and he's nervous about having this type of relationship. All right. So towards the end of the series, again, our girl, Mississippi, tell me why this is the man that is abusing her. Girl, I, I was like, what is going on? Look at him putting his hands on her. It don't make it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Like, if you watch the episode, she be having black eyes, bruises. This man is beating her. And to find out this is what's going on, I, I, I was surprised. I was, I was surprised. Okay, so I told you, the bouncer, Diamond, it, this has been getting on his nerves. He don't understand why this man is beating her. And he wants to come at him correct. So they get into an altercation and he finally gets what he deserves. He gets his butt whooped. He needed his butt whooped, especially for putting his hands on a woman that sat up and had two of his kids. It don't make no sense. Um, but the crazy part, and this is kind of how the first season ends. So they're fighting and as crazy as it is, Mississippi pulls out some heat on diamond and again because of the uh, powers that be again i this has to be censored but she pulls out some heat on him tells him not to stop fighting dude and it's just like it really shows the claws that domestic violence have on individuals you know they want to leave but they feel like they can't and this really speaks to that and I really hope that individuals who are dealing with that can see how outrageous the uh, how outrageous it looks from the other side. Um, but that sums up season one. We had a lot of drama. Um, the pink foreclosure, but end up getting bought by Autumn. Haley, Lakeisha Savage. That's how season one ends. Uh, Mercedes mom. Mercedes mom ended up getting her own church and becoming her own pastor, which is crazy to me, which is crazy to me. And there is drama between Lil Murder and Uncle Clifford. Now, take into consideration everything that we just went over. And now stay tuned for season two review. See you next time. Hey y'all, so we want you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified of new videos every day.